Welcome to Fresh Paint, your equine insight and entertainment from one of the leading equine organizations in the world. You guessed it, we're back in the Fort Worth Stockyards checking in on the progress that's being made here and giving you an inside look at the site of your future home. We hope you'll make plans to come see us later on this year. So now it's time for our Q&A segment with the one, the only, Paint Horse Pete. He's an authority on all things paint and he loves to answer your questions. So Chris from Utah asks, I have an 11 year old daughter that just started showing paint horses. I understand that the Youth World Show pays scholarships. Is there an age restriction? And if not, what happens to the money if she wins any during her 11 year old year? <laughs> so, so Chris, I'm glad you asked because our Youth World Show is just around the corner. So competitors ages 18 and under are welcome. No matter their age, scholarships that are won during the APHA Youth World Show are accumulating. So your daughter could come back year after year and receive a scholarship and it just keeps building until she's ready to use it. We're even doing scholarship drawings during the show that aren't related to competition. So I want to invite everyone to our Youth World Show coming up June 24th through July 7th here at Fort Worth. And I also want to remind you that the pre-entry deadline is May 15th. So in order to get the best rates, you need to get your entries in very soon. Thanks for that great question, Chris. We hope to see you and your daughter at the show this summer. Okay, so we're here with, with APHA Senior Director of Judges, Shows, and Education, Dave Dellen. Tell us a little bit about where you're from, what your path took you getting to APHA. Sure. Originally, I grew up around Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, I now live in Elmore City, Oklahoma. God's country, by the way, for, for you Texans out there. <laughs> Elmore City, I always thought was maybe a made up town, but it's known for something very specific. It, it, Fill it us is. in. Yeah, it is. So Elmore City is actually the town that the movie Footloose was made after. For uh, many years, they didn't allow dancing there, and didn't have a senior prom, and those things changed. They made a movie about it, mm -hmm. and now we actually have a Footloose Festival every year where they <laughs> shut down Main Street and dance in the street. Do you dance in the street? I, I, I do not. I do not. I, I actually, we want to make uh, sure we get that. We, <laughs> we need some video. You have come up with a tool that we use that has become pretty successful in industry. You want to talk a little bit about yeah. Horse IQ? Sure, sure. So I wish I could say I came up with it. It was actually a lot of work from a lot of different people involved in the industry that I've, I'm so pleased to be able to have worked with. But Horse IQ is an online platform and we have all kinds of really useful information on there as far as interactive things that people can do. You can judge some classes on there, you can have penalty quizzes, and then you get feedback as to why they placed a class the way they did, as well as why they marked all the scores the way they did. So I don't know if you've ever seen the social media phenomena, phenomenon called Hot Ones. So we're gonna take a little break and set up and we're gonna have, continue this conversation over some mildly spicy hot wings. Do, do I get to ask questions in that part too? Okay, so Dave, this is how this works. These are hot wings. It came from my very favorite Thai restaurant in Fort Worth. Now they range from heat from one to 10. We're gonna start at six. So this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna ask you a question, you're gonna ask me a question. If you elect not to answer the question, you have to eat a wing. You got it? Yeah, unfortunately I got it. Okay. So number one, we've worked together for the past six years. What's the least favorite trait of mine? I think I'll take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a two-year-old's bite. 
I have to get a bigger bike? Yeah, like an adult sized bike. There you go. Okay, I can handle that. Rumor has it you were a boxer growing up. In fact, Golden Gloves. What made you give up your professional boxing career to become an executive director of an equine organization? I mean, that's easy. I, I got my face pounded in by a couple of, one guy in particular who turned into a pro. That was easy for me. That was an easy decision. Gotcha. This will be your turn. <laughs> Prior to employment with APHA, you were a horse trainer. Who was your worst customer? Oh my goodness. Who wrote these? <laughs> Your worst I customer. Think, I think this is a set up deal just for Who me to eat. Who is your worst customer? You know what, I, I didn't have very many bad customers. So uh, that means you're not going to answer the question, right? Yeah, I'm not going to answer number it. two. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think this was a set up deal just to get me to eat wings. Is it hot yet? Not, not terrible, I haven't had yeah. to go to the milk yet. Yeah, yeah. Getting hotter. Definitely getting hotter. <laughs> Let's see if we can make this a little more difficult on Billy. APHA is a leading equine association. Who is your least favorite association executive director to work with? I believe I have a hot wing. <laughs> so, still talking about your training days, who was your fellow exhibitor that you disliked the most? <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna keep on moving down the line of hot wings here. <laughs> mm. They're hot yet? Get, getting pretty warm. Okay. Have you ever found something and a close relative mistook it for an Indian artifact? If yes, what was it actually and have you told this person what it really is? That'd be up here at number eight. So that person's highly likely to watch this. So I'm just gonna do, <laughs> yes. we're just gonna do number three here. If the wind blows it away, do I have to eat it? Yep, yeah. even off the floor. I'm trying to save my milk. <laughs> As the director of judges, you oversee all the judging at APHA. Who is the most difficult judge to manage? Oh my goodness. Did you write these? <laughs> Holy moly. All right, number nine. I, I'm not feeling a thing right now. <clears throat> I'm gonna need more paper towels. Being a doctor, you've been affiliated with several colleges in different capacities. Texas Tech, UNT, West Texas A&M. Please rank these colleges from worst to best. <laughs> uh, That's pretty good. <laughs> now, now he's trying to play mind games. Come on, the rest of this. <laughs> so the last question is, um, what's the <coughs> worst class to judge? Oh, that one. That one's easy. <laughs> that one's easy. It's lead line. <laughs> lead line's the worst class to judge. All the kids look cute, they're all great. It's the worst to judge, for sure. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> okay, let's see what I've got. You've been very successful in elevating APHA and its financial statutes over the last seven years. Who has been your least favorite president? <laughs> oh yeah, number 10. <laughs> yeah, that one's hot. <laughs> Those are hot, I'm impressed. You know, the Reaper flavor is <laughs> undeniable. I'm just glad I got to quit with number nine. <laughs>so that's it for this uh, reaper edition of fresh paint thank you for joining us and i hope you learned something valuable along the way now go saddle up your paint horse and i'll see you down the trail
I'll need some more milk, by the way. <laughs> Toast? Toast.